Championship. Introducing first from the Big Apple, Velvet Sky. Huge opportunity in this knockout title match for Velvet. She wins the gauntlet at Genesis in controversial fashion. Forced to face Gail Kim for a second time last week in a singles match. She wins it. She becomes number one contender and immediately gets the title shot tonight. Yeah, huge opportunity here. Made it official last week on Impact, and here we go. What's the question you had for me, Mike? You said you had questions. Oh, I've had questions. Me? But I'm, I'm ready. What's your questions? Go ahead, tell me. First things first. This higher power that you keep referring to. I want a definition on that, but why don't you wait for the entrance of the champ? And her opponent, accompanied by Jesse, your knockout champion, Tara! Possibly my favorite couple right here. On Impact Wrestling, next to you and uh, Mike there, Todd. Oh, thanks, Taz. Mm. But uh, as we see, the Knockouts champion, Tara, and Jesse making their way to the ring. The Hollywood, the Hollywood Power Couple, we get back to Mike's question, though. The higher power? No, what about the higher power? I mean, a definition to find that. You yeah. said about this higher power that you kept referring Come to. Come on, Mike, you know me longer than that. You know me better than that. What do you think, I'm going to sit out here and tell you what and who that higher power is? You're out of your mind. Are we talking about one person? Are we talking about more than one? Listen, let's move on. Let's call this knockouts match. And that's what it's about, right? Let's do our jobs as good announcers, right? That's what we do. I as hope talking, so. We're talking heads. Let's talk to the heads. I hope you're going to be part of the broadcast team. I hope you're just not going to be here to spread the agenda of aces and eights. Oh, no, no. I will spread the good word of aces and eights, my friend. I can tell you that is my agenda. But I will also be the esteemed color broadcaster that I am. All right, whole lot of propaganda, yeah, no but there you, you tell see. me when to hold on. I'll hold on when I want to hold on. There you see what's on the line. Knockouts official Taryn Terrell holding up Knockouts title on the line. Velvet Sky has gone on record to say that 2013 will be her year, and she could kick it off by winning the title back just as she promised. Maybe Look right down. here, right now. Caught the champ sleeping early. Well, she tried, this, she, she tried to steal a win. I mean, let's, let's face it, Velvet attacking... Uh, you know, Tara from behind with, with that roll-up. I mean, she wasn't ready for that. Another no, try. Right. For the cover again. It's all fair and love and war, I gather. As we kick things off with championship action, we remind you to stay in touch with TNA President Dixie Carter on social media, on Facebook, facebook.com slash TNA Dixie. Nice Japanese arm drag there, as well as on Twitter for all the late breaking news. Yeah, maybe Dixie Carter could tweet something about aces and eights. Maybe she could do that, or what she thinks about me now. That'd be interesting. I'm sure she tweeted on how disgusted she was by that attack. Well, did she? You're up a rear end. You should know. Being a turncoat. Turncoat? You're calling You've been here for a cup of coffee. You're going to call me for a turncoat? What are you, nuts? Get out of here, bro. I'm going to go back and get your announcement book. Yeah, somebody who hasn't been here for a cup of coffee is me. Cup of coffee? You've been here for about four pots of coffee. You kidding me? Oh, look at this. Velvet Sky rolling here. She's got the Knockouts champ in trouble. Oh, look out, Tara to the outside. Speaking of championship action, this match continues. Knockouts title on the line as Impact Wrestling rages on. Still have more questions, Taz. Welcome back, everyone, to Impact Wrestling. A match for the Knockouts Championship continues here as Velvet Sky is really giving the champ a handful and continues countering out of the corner with a series of kicks. Yeah, you talk about Todd being here for a couple of weeks. Not the case with me. Taz, we've been around here for years together, and I have to admit, as we see the pin attempt here by Velvet, I never saw what you did coming. I think it really just shows that you just don't know people. No, you don't. I never said you knew me, Mike. Nobody knows me. You're People right about think, that. No, they don't. I do what I got to do. I've been like that my whole life. Aces and eights, I like what they do. I like what they stand for. I like what I was told when I was recruited. I've been around the block a little bit, buddy. I don't think I was sold a, a, you know, a bale of hay. How do you feel that you were done wrong by TNA? Well, you know, that right there is something I don't want to share. That is club business. I keep that amongst club members. Veteran champion, block the monkey flip, now goes for the cover. So is this just strictly a financial move on your part? What are you? I mean, really? You're going to sit here and interview answers. me? I'm going to announce it. Don't interview me. Interview somebody else. I'm not giving you any answers. How about that? 
All right, guess your true colors a little more than orange and black, but this championship oh, match please. continues she didn't really now. Just say that, Snap did suplex there. Floats over nicely into the cover. Does the champion. Speaking of championship action, Mike, last week the incredible debut of Bellator MMA Live. And again live tonight right after Impact. Another championship fight as Ben Askren puts his title on the line. Wow, here goes Tara right into the cover. Here's the pin attempt that gets two before Velvet escapes. You're right, Ben Askren, very special. Great amateur wrestling background at the University of Missouri. It led to him being a member of the U.S. Olympic team, and he's going to defend his title tonight against one of the top MMA stars from France in Carl Amasu. Tell you what, Bellator, now that's some cool stuff right there. That's some cool stuff. Right now, Tara trying to wear down Velvet Sky with this weird choke. Tara so physical, a veteran champion, just trying to wear down her opponent. It really had to earn this matchup twice. Once at Genesis, the controversial call, as you mentioned, she made it official last week. Wants to have just a, a huge breakout year yet again since she returned. Can she do it? Certainly going to be tough. Tara has been the knockouts champ all the way since October's Bound for Glory. Well, you're at a record tying fifth reign as knockout champ for Tara. Velvet looks to become knockout champion for a second time tonight in the role of the challenger. High risk for the champ. Not often that you see Tara go up here, and it doesn't pay off that time as. Velvet Sky with a desperation counter able to slam her off the top. And that might give her an opportunity to get back in this knockouts title well, match. Tara kind of, she didn't really get too quickly up the up that turnbuckle to hit whatever she was gonna hit, so Velvet countered. But I'll tell you, you look at someone like Tara, all her credibility, all her years of being champions almost everywhere she's been. I like this girl style. But that's true. Two times WWE women's champ as well for Tara, in addition to the five reigns here in TNA and Impact Wrestling, but the challenger's got it rolling. Tara's such a decorated champion, but when the pace quickens, it seems to favor the challenger. Snaps off a beautiful head scissors take down there. Has to try and capitalize. Rolls through, drives her straight down, looking for the cover. We'd have a count of one, two. We could have a new knockouts champion right now. Yeah, but Jesse, uh, he's kind of jaw jacking with Taryn Terrell. I don't quite really know what's going on over there. And, well, Velvet, you better be careful. Uh-oh, look out here. This direction, Velvet Sky looking to take it down his new champion. No, how close was that? Hollywood power couple doing what they do best, trying to distract, but Velvet didn't fall for it. Looking to take her up with a suplex. She got countered there, and Jesse looks like he had, had her hooked as well from the outside. Your winner and still knockout champion, Tara! Well, what Jesse did is he tripped up Velvet. That's what he did before he held the foot. And I was smart by Jesse to help his lovely girl. No retain. Good stuff. Yeah, Jesse plays a huge role, just like he has in all of the title defenses for Tara. She keeps the title. Velvet Sky comes up just short because of the interference. 